Hello and welcome back. I, man, I'm sorry. I missed you guys. I did not make this show last week. It felt totally wrong. Everything felt off. Of course, I was in Oregon and when I got back, I wanted to do a makeup show, but there was a hurricane coming through here and it was just, it was a chaos and I was wiped from travel. So I just kicked back for a little bit. But if you missed it last week, I announced what's going to be in this giveaway this month and every month moving forward. This is the Hitch and Timber Runt 2.0. This is going to be in the giveaway as well. As a key smart, maybe not a rugged, but there's definitely going to be a key smart in the giveaway. A Griffin Pocket Tool, that's also in the giveaway. A Rovi Von Aurora Flashlight, it's going to be a rotating model. It's not necessarily going to be the A4 or A5. Sometimes it'll be an A1 or A2. And a Big Idea Design Titanium Pocket Tools. What I didn't announce last week, and what has been added to the roster for this giveaway every month, is also a Yellow Birch Outfitters Pocket Organizer. This is the Pro Modern but it's gonna be also a rotating stock for what the giveaway is, but he's on board for several months. We've got a lot of cool stuff to give away and I'm super excited. So if you want this stuff, go to edcw.co, submit your EDC, follow all of these brands on Instagram and you're entered to win a full EDC kit. That out of the way, this video is brought to you by Rovivon. If you are not familiar with Rovivon, they make really cool, really tiny, super bright flashlights. They come in polycarbonate, aluminum, stainless steel, titanium, and a luminous body that also comes with a red side light or UV. They're super bright, compact, durable. I've been carrying one in my pocket for months now. So if you like the looks of this and would like to buy one yourself or read more about it, you can find the links to their website down below. You can use my coupon code BESTAMEDC for 10 percent off but with all that out of the way let's get right into the show this week it's all about wallets i went through all the submissions which there are a ton of this month already went through them all picked out the best wallets that are submitted so far and here we go you may have also noticed that the setup looks a little bit different it's going to be changing a lot over the next month as you know in two weeks from now or less than two weeks actually about a week I'm going to be going full time for this channel. I'm going to be making some changes so just so it's easier to work in here and easier to set up my unboxing things and just a better workflow. And so this doesn't look so messy. It's very cluttered. I don't like it. So this is going to be changing. But if you like this little more conversational setup with a laptop here, this feels more comfortable for me, more conversational. So if you like this, just let me know in the comments down below. First submission this week comes from Ricky Jones. And this EDC is you got all the elements that get me. You've got the leather, you've got that rustic wood in the background, you've got minimalist stuff, you've got some cool tools. Ugh, let's dig in. First up here, we have a Victorinox Swiss Champ for his multi-tool of choice. Next to that, you see a Spyderco Squeak. Next to that, he has the Victorinox belt chain that's got, also got a pocket clip or pocket dangler on it. His watch of choice is a Casio G-Shock GA100. Next to that, you see a generic paracord bracelet. The little tool you see in the bottom left of the photo there is a CRKT Snailer. And he also has a Claris X-T2 CR dual tail switch light. His wallet of choice here is the Husk Minimalist wallet, and he also has a generic key organizer, which is attached to his other keys with locking S beaners. He also has a pocket organizer here. This is the Hitch and Timber Runt 2.0. That's the one I showed at the beginning of this video that's going to be given away at the end of this month. And inside that, he has a Victorinox Cadet in Alox, a Fisher Space Pin in Brass, a Lumen Top Tool AAA Copper Flashlight, and finally, a Zutility Hedgehog. You aren't going to see this in the edit, but I struggled through reading that whole entire thing. Ricky says, Got into EDC a few years ago when it helped me in my job carrying the knife and pin, also discovering gear best. I live in the UK, so everything is legal and compliant with the laws. Normally out of the house for long periods of the day due to work and hobbies, so these are all on me 90% of the time or in my backpack rotating throughout the day. The G-Shock I wear every day as it's practically unbreakable, and the option to change the time based on time zone is extremely useful on holiday. The Victorinox chain connects to my keys and husk wallet via the locking s beaners The Snailer is handy little tool for opening bottles and nothing else. The Claris pumps out 1600 lumens fully charged, and since I live in a little village, it comes in handy down the dark roads and pathways. The Victorinox Swiss Champ is just incredible and has everything I could ever need from a work to home to hobbies. The Spyderco Squeak is just such a cool little knife that's UK legal, good quality, and usually non-threatening. So when people ask for a knife, I whip it out and they normally don't grasp gas. That's my EDC. Hope you like it. Taking me about three years to refine it to these bits of gear. Still more items I would like out there, but that's just greed talking. Those work perfectly for my everyday carry. I don't want to go a day without using most of these items. Keep up the good work, bro, and best of luck 
in the future. Thank you for sharing, man. And I like this a lot. One thing is I did that does all unboxing, but this thing, Michael sent me this because I said that the does all was a little big for my taste and it is, it's much thicker leather. This thing right here is my personal wallet right now. I am loving it. The runt is basically this, but it's got the pin elastic on the side and it doesn't have the, uh, the second pocket it might have one pocket but it doesn't have two pockets you can put your your tools in there and keep them all together i like that a lot especially as a wallet too but anyway this little minimalist wallet i love little elastic wallets like that especially when i'm traveling i like to have a very very small compact wallet when i'm traveling and that right there is i have a thread wallet i believe i've had several different elastic wallets over the years this one's really cool. But anyway, thank you, Ricky. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The second submission this week comes from Danny Sue, and this one had something I didn't even know existed in it. Actually, two things that I didn't know existed. Uh, maybe even three. I don't know. We're just going to get into it. First up here, the wallet of choice here is the Travax Element Wallet, and that's in silver with black leather. He has a Mech Army Titanium Carabiner with a 360 lumen rechargeable flashlight. Next up is the Leatherman Style CS, and that's actually inside a Leatherman Hail, which I didn't know was a thing. It's actually a snowboarding tool, but it holds a Style CS inside it, which is very, very cool, and the whole thing's TSA compliant. The multi-tool of choice, the Big Daddy multi-tool of choice here, of course, is the the Leatherman Wave. Finally, the flashlight, the dedicated flashlight of choice is the Maker E14 flashlight. Call me a noob. I knew Make Army made flashlights. I didn't know they also made a carabiner, but it's a titanium carabiner with a flashlight. And that's pretty cool. And that Leatherman tool, that Leatherman Hail, I'd never even seen this thing before. It's its, its own carabiner with a multi-tool built in, but it also holds a Leatherman style CS inside it. They, they nest. I don't know if it stays there, but they at least nest. So you could I don't know. Anyway, great EDC, very compact. And that Travex wallet is something I've been eyeing for a long, long time. And, and people who've been on this channel for a while now, you know that my original logo actually featured a Travex wallet. And I think that's because it's got one of the coolest designs out there. And it's one of the more notable pieces of EDC gear. It just sticks out. So thank you for submitting. Danny, you now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The next submission comes from Philip Fox. And this one has a slightly different wallet. One that's very similar to the one before, but but also very different. First up here, we have a key bar bomber. The notepad of choice here is a right in the rain in yellow, and the pin that he uses is a Zebra F301 pin. His watch of choice is a Casio G-Shock 3230, and his knife of choice is the SOG Flash 2 Tonto. He uses a Gerber shard as a little pry bar pry tool. His phone of choice, which isn't pictured, is a Samsung Galaxy S9. And finally, the standout piece here is the Dango Tactical Wallet. So what's unique about the Dango Wallet is that it's actually got an insert and that insert, so it holds your cards with a little rubber band, but when you take it apart, that insert is actually a multi-tool in and of itself. So it's got a bottle opener and a scraper tool and just different tools built into the centerpiece of the Danko wallet. I like them, I've been eyeing them just about as much as the Travax wallets, and I've never really been able to settle on either one. Philip says, all items are carried with me daily to work. I have had to use all the items. The Dango Tactical lets me carry what I need in the way of ID, credit cards, and cash. It's low profile and makes the girls giggle. Okay. Sure. It has a multi-tool that is the size of a credit card. What else would you need? The knife is simple, easy to deploy, and most importantly, cheap enough that if I lose it, I won't cry like a baby. Used to primarily open boxes, cut the occasional blister pack, cut rope, and I've even used it to cut up a steak. I've worn my G-Shock watch for seven years and it hasn't skipped a beat. The keyboard keeps me from sounding like a jailer and I've attached a small LED light for shits and giggles. The Gerber shard is, well, damn near the most useful small EDC tool I carry. I loop it into the Dango money clip and it disappears until I need it. Right in the rain has never seen rain duty, but it has all the important phone numbers in case I lose my phone. Who remembers phone numbers anymore? And the zebra pin, well, you have to be able to write in your notepad. And that's a good point. Who does remember phone numbers anymore? Nobody. I think if I lost my phone or it died or broke or something, I would know my mom's old phone number, which she doesn't have anymore. I would know my dad, both my grandparents, and Alex's number. That's it. Anyway, thank you, Philip, for sharing. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. The fourth and final submission this week comes from Rick Nijman. You can find him on Instagram at budget everyday carry. There are some underscores in there, but you can see how to spell it. Uh, wherever this is, I'm so confused now because I changed my setup. Anyway, first up, he has a Barrest Brothers Customs Kiridashi knife. His other knife of choice here is a Victornix Classic SD. And next to that, you see a Tactic Key. Below that is a Giltek Ruck. And I'm really happy to see people actually 
embracing the gill tech. Next to that is a Lumen Top Tool AAA flashlight, and his knife of choice at the very bottom is a Kershaw Method. Above that, the writing utensil he uses is a Zebra TS-3 mechanical pencil, and below that, the highlight wallet of this EDC is the Secret Wallet, which is one of those cool little minimalist card holders. You hit the button at the bottom and the cards shoot out of the top. It's kind of cool. Uh, I've also looked at these, never quite pulled the trigger on one of these just because I have so much stuff rotating in and out now, but cool little wallet. Eventually I'd like to try one out. Rick says, I live in an area where people are not used to carrying a knife. So depending on the situation, I either carry my Kershaw or my Kiridashi as a main knife. And when I'm at work, I carry the Kershaw, no problem. But in some situations I can't have the pocket clip showing. So in that case, I carry the Kiridashi in my pocket. I use them mainly for opening packages, cutting up some cardboard, cutting loose threads and other odd tasks. The wallet is a sacred wallet that I bought a while back because I wanted a nice wallet with RFID protection and this one fits that role perfectly. The zebra mechanical pencil I keep in my wallet because it's super slim and in case I need to write something down or if I want to draw out some ideas on the go, I'll always have a pencil on hand. For my keys, I try to keep it simple as possible so I don't have a big bulge in my pocket. That's why I only have a classic SD on there. I mostly have it on there for scissors and the tweezers. The tactic key is something I always carry, not because I hope to ever need it, but just so it's there when I need it. If you don't know, the tactic key I believe is one, it's got like a finger grip on a key so you can put your key in between your fingers. The Giltek Ruck, do I need to say more? It's a great utility blade that weighs nothing and is super useful. Lastly, the Lumen Top tool is something I always have with me. I didn't like the clip because it had a lot of the flashlight sticking out. So I just took it off and I carry it in my pocket. Thanks for bringing back the EDC Weekly and also thanks for giving me the first ever feature after relaunch, keep up the good work. You're welcome man and thank you for this really cool EDC. The Kiridashi knife, that's not something I would normally see here. You don't normally see people carrying fixed blades on the EDC Weekly, but this one is really neat. It's very, very small for a fixed blade and uh, I like it and I love that handle design. And it's also got a bottle opener on the handle. Again, what doesn't have a bottle opener now? What would be really cool, and I don't know if it is, I don't think it is, is if it were a pry bar on the opposite end. I would consider one if it were a knife on one side with a pry bar on the other. Anyway, thank you, Rick. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And I wanna do something a little different this week because I did miss last week and I wanna kinda of catch up with the, the featured people on the EDC Weekly. So what I had in mind was throwing in honorable mentions every single week. And I'm gonna play with this, but I think that's how we're gonna go forward is having honorable mentions streamlined into the actual EDC Weekly. So since there are so many great wallets out there and there were so many submissions with great wallets that I went through just today, here we go. So the first honorable mention is from Caleb Townsend. He has a recycled firefighter Captain Bifold wallet. He also has here just a few other things I'm gonna point out that I think are cool. He has a Leatherman Skeletool. He's got the Damascus steel blade. He has a uh, Rexford Rut, looks like a V3, I believe it is a V3. He also has a Keybar Bomber Titanium. And the other knife here is a Beg Knives Steelcraft Bodega, which looks really unique. I've not seen that knife before. Next up is from Bryson Campbell. He said he's only been following for about two weeks at the time of his submission, so thank you. Welcome to the channel. His wallet is the Travex Armored Summit wallet. And other stuff you see here is a multi-tool from True Utilities. There are a lot of knockoffs of these, so this one may be a knockoff, I don't know, because normally the little rotating tool on the middle of the carabiner there is usually gold colored. He also has a Giltek Ruck and a fixed blade knife. I don't know what that fixed blade is. Anyway, thank you, Brian. You know, I have a second entry into this month's giveaway. I'm not gonna keep repeating that. All of these people mentioned here have a second entry into this month's giveaway. Next up is Alex Levetsky. He has a Dasso Phantom Mare gun deck wallet. I've been carrying one of these off and on for about a year and a half or two years now. I love it. I love this wallet. It's actually my preferred travel wallet when I'm traveling because it does close everything in and uh, I just like that. He also has a Chris Reeves Sabenza. What are these other things? Let's see, a ceramic Rolex Submariner, uh, gray band Wayfarer in a custom case. He has a Leica camera, the Leica M9. It's a really nice camera and it's in a leather case as well. And then he has a Prometheus custom pin and flashlight. So the next one is Alan Wilson. We also have a key bar here. There's a Benchmade, which looks like a maybe mini griptilian. It is a mini griptilian with a Tonto blade. He has a six hour P365. And of course, he also has a Travex Element wallet, this time with the brown leather instead of the black, and an Apple Watch with a nice little nylon strap, and an Olight that is an R50 Pro, maybe not Pro, it's an R50. I don't know if it's the Pro Seeker or which version of the R50 it is, but it is an R50 Olight. That's 
I did a video of one of those over on my other channel. It's a pretty bright flashlight, I like it a lot. Next up is Michael Eskay. Eskay, he actually told me how to pronounce his name once and I totally forgot. This one's cool because this is his work carry. You know, it's, it's what he uses when he's at work. His other EDC submissions are great, but I actually wanted to feature this picture last month, but I didn't because I already featured him before he submitted this. He has some Leatherman scissors here, stethoscope, and a few other things that I'm not gonna know, some medical equipment. But his wallet of choice is the Andar Pilot wallet. And for those of you unfamiliar with that wallet, it also has a button at the bottom that'll shoot some cards out of the top. And of course his watch here. The watch is really cool. It is a Casio, I don't remember the model number, a Casio World Time AE1200WD-1A on a gadget wrapped silicon band. It's just a really cool, unique watch. The next submission comes from Nolan Kleppen, and I picked this one again because Das of Air Gun Deck Wallet. Again, I carry that wallet. I love that wallet. Here's just a different version of it with some other cool gear. Other stuff here is a Spyderco Chaparral, a Seiko SARX045, EGTAC D25A, Leatherman Squirt PS4, TI Scribe Bolt V2 pin, and a titanium suspension clip that he says he found on eBay. And at the bottom there, he doesn't mention it, but it's a Mighty Hanks handkerchief. And the last one I picked is from Rob Langridge. And I picked this one not because it's just amazing or over the top, but it's real. The wallet, of course, here is a Ridge wallet in carbon fiber with a money clip. Of course, he's also got a Swiss Army knife. There's a Fisher Space Pin bullet there, a flashlight of some sort. I don't know what kind, another kind of watch. But anyway, the reason I picked this one is because it looks real. It is staged a little bit. I mean, he laid this stuff out, but it's also like in his work environment and there's just something to it that's like, I don't know, I like it, it jumped out at me. I'd like to see more stuff like this. That's just kind of like, here is what I am. Here's where I work and this is my stuff. Thank you all for sharing. You all now have a second entry in this month's giveaway. And if you like this format where I do a deep dive on some of them and then I just kind of jump through the rest of them, let me know. I'm gonna have a little more time to be working on the EDC Weekly starting in October. So I will be experimenting more with, with stuff like this and ways to build onto the show so it's not the same thing every single week. But if you like this format, let me know. If you wanna be featured in a video or enter to win all that cool stuff I talked about at the beginning of the video, go to edcw.co, fill out that form, submit your EDC, and make sure you follow us all on Instagram. All of the stuff is linked down below. But if you follow us all there and do that, you're entered to win the giveaway. If you're featured in a video, you get a second entry. That's, that's all there is to it, man. That's it. So with all that said, if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future. And hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. I upload this video every single Thursday, EDC Weekly, and I do other videos throughout the week. And content will be ramping up starting in October, so make sure you hit that notification bell. Be sure to follow us around the web too. You can find us on Twitter and Instagram at BestMEDC. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. And until next time, carry on.